Hello, 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 Tam fam. Welcome back to my channel. This is Tamara of Love My Babies Forever. If this is your new first time stopping by, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to be creating two simple DIYs and I am creating some decor to place inside of a cloche for this challenge. And so I'm just going to be getting started. So I'm just taking a really heavy duty foam board and I'm just creating this little house shape. And this is a DIY I previously did and I just showed you some images. For the Heidi Sambol Friend Friday Hop collaboration, and I am just now reusing them, recreating them because I like to create things with dual purpose. And I created those little inserts so they can be seasonal and I can change the decor as needed. And so this is the perfect opportunity to do that for the summertime. So I'm just going through, after I've cut out the shape, I'm going to go and find a piece of matching paper that pleases me and this one just says um i forgot what it says so i'm just going to use some regular this says do what you love and i'm just using some regular glue i'm just stick stick that paper back there so i just got some ribbon and i cut them about maybe about two and a half inches and just tied a piece of string in the middle and that's it and so i hot glued that on to the center of the top of the house shape and i just took another piece of one of that ribbon and by the way i got this ribbon from my awesome awesome friend miss jenny here of lovely moments creating so there you go and i will go back and create something else for the back because again i like duality if you're new to my channel i like to make things that have dual purposes that i can get more than one use out of and i decided to put this peach kind of vibe flower on there because for my decor for the summer i'm using like that mint green and that peach So here I am, I'm getting one of those little mini, uh, what is that, little mini crates from the Dollar Tree, the flat ones, and I'm just using that to create another little decor piece, like a mini tray, and I am taking some of my trusty Jenga blocks. And I'm going to add a little bit of height just simply by hot gluing four of those to the bottom. And I specifically chose the color brown as opposed to tan because I like the contrast. And I'm going to go with a um, the mint green and also kind of like a peachy brown vibe. I'm also going to be using some of that gorgeous faux leather from the Dollar Tree. And again, I got this from my fabulous friend jenny of lovely moments creating and i am so thankful for her for these because i don't have these in my dollar tree so i just took another piece of paper and that is from the floral section of the the wedding section of the dollar tree and that paper is like wrapping paper for a wedding and so i'm using both the mint green and this color i never know how to it looks like it's a peach pink brown type of vibe so i'm just going to mix all three of those things here i'm just going to glue it onto the back and that's it one two three i am done so now that i'm finished i'm going to show you how to style it so guys this is a part of the summer cloche collaboration that's being hosted by the fabulous nicole north garden and two vintage sisters so please check them out if you're not familiar and they just wanted us to decorate our space for the summer using a cloche or a jar or a cake stand or a tray 
So this was my rendition of that. So here, once I'm finished with that, it's really just time to style it. And so I'm going to show you how I have styled these pieces on my server. So I apologize for the noise in the background. That's my air conditioning unit. It is already hot. My furniture is pretty much farmhouse, but I like to mix it up and add a little glam to it. And so that is what I'm going to be doing. So please let me know in the comments what you think about this styling. Previous cloche that I had made. And that's just a wine glass from the Dollar Tree, some bling, some glam, a little circular mirror from the Dollar Tree as well on another DIY tray, kind of like a farmhouse vibe. And I just added some gemstones under the bottom of that, slapped some chalk paint on it, and I was good to go. Now for this one here, um, I decided because I like to keep it... Um, I like to use my pieces over and over. I didn't hot glue that beautiful peach rose to the top of that little house. I just simply placed it on there with some fun tack. So if you see that blue, that's from the fun tack. And this huge cloche is not an actual cloche. It's just a vase and I just flipped it upside down and I got the same vibe. So this is my little summer cloche set up I am sure this setup is going to change. This is just really for the purpose of this video. And of course, I just add a little refreshing summer beverage. So guys, I thank you for stopping by. Please go and check out Nicole and the other co-hosts and please check out the playlist. And they will be linked in the description box below. And as all, in addition, please don't forget, guys, that this Friday, May 28th at 7 p.m., the Sophisticated Ladies, which I'm a part of, we're hosting our outdoor decor collaboration. Please join us and check us out. If you're doing your front yard, your backyard, doesn't matter. Just come on in and join the fun. Friday, May 28th at 7 p.m. As always, I hope that you are safe, happy, healthy.